Okay, so the Rebbe is being Masbi here. Why in the Shom is Dafke? Why Dafke? Good morning, Mio. Why in the Shom is able Dafke to carry out the, the Kavana of Dirab Dachtoinim? Which starts with the neshama coming into a goof boss of Adam. So this whole adicha say yud kivavke neshamas come from pnimius of uh, pnimius achachma, and the unique relationship with pnimius achachma dafke and malchus doimem oisius elamaze hagbola that the oisius are rooted, even though they're the doimem of the nefesh. Dafke and Oisius are rooted deeper than the actual Seichel and Midas themselves, as he uh, explained. And the Nisham has come, therefore, rooted in, 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 in the Pnimis Harotzen, these various stratas within this Pnimis Dika dimension, this Atmis Dika dimension. Therefore, the Shamas are able to engage the world and elevate it coming from there, and it's from there too that Malchus Doimem Dibur is rooted. But then he started to explain, and elsewhere it says that Hashem has come from Kalim. Because in further drawing the distinction between Hashem and Malachim, he said, quoting that Hashem is from Hashem Avayim, and Malachim Hashem Malikim, Again, pointing to the superiority, the mile of the Shadish of Nishambas. However, elsewhere it says Nishambas come from Kalim too. The answer is Pnimisake, which is, as we explained, Pnimisake means at its root the mile of the Kalim, the mile of Gvul, not the limitation of Gvul. And what's the mile of Gvul? The mile of Gvul is it's the Abishta's choice, the Abishta's Shlemus. That Atmos can express himself and does in bli gvul and gvul. So, in at the level of pnimius, the gvul is not a hagbola; it's expression, adaram, and it's even a deeper expression, as we explained by divine design. Hashem manifests kaiyach gvul in such a way that it slowly dawns on us. I say slowly because this is a huge chiddush of chiddush. And within Chassidus itself, really, it emerges in the later Deiris that Kayach HaGvul is rooted deep in the Kayach HaGvul. Even though ultimately it's all equal. But that's an appreciation that we need to, to come to in order to appreciate the Maila of Dira B'Tachtoinit. The Seichel should also understand the Maila the Maila of, of Dira B'Tachtoinit. So that's who we're up to. We're up to this, is being Masbir that the neshama comes from the pinimius, and the example he brought to illustrate this, the mile of, of the pinimius uh, hakeli, he's looking at, at the, first of all, the physical keli, that the pinimius of the keli is the one that actually contains the, the mashke, which is the whole point of the keli, to drink it. The chitzenius hakeli is just there to, to hold the cup and to move the cup. That's the outside wall, but the inside wall is, is the primius. They both have bola, they're separated by a thin wall, literally, the inside and the outside. But the inside is what carries the mashke. So in the nimshal, it doesn't spell it out, but the chur and the nimshal is that the primius akeli, which is the, the understanding, the appreciation of what kaycha gvul is, carries the liquid, carries the etzem, is the expression of the etzem. The external keli is limitation, which creates distance and, and, and concealment and, and, and taking from one place to another means distance. Further from Hashem, closer from Hashem, the greater the gvul, the further, the less gvul, the closer. That's all mitzad chitzenius a gvul. Mitzad chitzenius, it creates this whole ladder of, of divinity and distance. Where we're at the bottom of the, the bottom rung. But the pnimius of it is what contains the mashke, the kavan the pnimius. It's all him. No less, no less than, than the greatest bligvul, and beyond. It's all who. 
And that was the marshal of a, of a keli gashmi. Then he brought a marshal of a keli, a little bit more ruchni is dick, but still gashmi is dick, is the body. So the brain is a keli for the seich. So what's chitzen yis ha-meichin and pinim yis ha-meichin? Chitzen yis ha-meichin produces the ideas, the world of intellect. And what comes from pinim yis ha-meichin? The tipa. The tipa that gives light, that, that contains the essence of the father. And the mshach is ha-etzem. So the tipa, the physical, the physical tipa, unlike the ideas, which are only a ha-oda, of the Meichen. It takes 40 years for the Talmud to truly grasp the idea, etc. You can't give an idea to someone. You can't make someone intellectual. But you can create a child. Through all the effort in the world, you can't put a head on someone's shoulders or make them understand if they don't have the capacity. They just don't have the capacity. You have to teach them according to the level. But create a child, a genius you can create even, because the child can be that the uh, the latent potentials that every nefesh has, but that are not actualized also by divine design within each within within the father can emerge within the child. The father can transmit genes that he never expressed, but it's in essence there in his DNA code. If I'm saying this correctly, Akalponim, what's the paradox? The paradox is the Dashpa Mamish of the Etzem, the Pnimis Hamachin, the Pnimis identity, the core identity of the, of, of, the, of the Father, comes out in the Tipa Gashmi manifested in, in the Tipa Gashmi. That's the idea of similar to Isis rooted in Etzem Anefesh. The, the eternal paradox of Siddhas, that the lowest, most distant, corporeal, limited manifestation is rooted in the, more, the most essential state. The biggest expression of the most dramatic, or dr- dramatic expression of that is Bechlal, Elam Hazza, the I am of Elam Hazza. Elam Hazza is the only world where we walk around that I am. One step higher, it's not, not I am in, in a vacuum, I am because of him. And that because becomes greater and greater the higher you go, the less the eye shrinks and the more him. But at no point is there any sense of in- independence. Dafka de is I am, because that's a corruption or an expression of the true I am. Nimitsiyusa miatsmus is truly only expressed directly in a corrupted way till we, till we transform it or align it or elevate it. Uh, so in the ego of Elam Hazet, which is dominated by ego, and every problem comes from there, it's all the corruption of the ultimate ego. The true ego, the true I am that I am. The whole Kavana is to re- bring to bear and reveal the I am of the Ebishter and the I am of, of the I, and fuse them and make them one, and one seamless expression of, of, of divinity. That's the Tachlis Kavan. All right, so let's go back and let's continue the ice now. Mizem moving, right? So I just summarized the 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 marshal of the Kelly Gashmi, the marshal of the Meichen. Mizem moving, yeah. But he has the place. It's like it's two two thirds down from the ice. In the middle of the page. Mazem Wuvan, Mildus and Neshamas and Malachim. So here's the Mildus then of the Neshamas Dafka. Of course, only Neshamas can carry out the Kavana of revealing Atzimus in the Tachten, because that's what they are. The Neshamas Shoshim Mipnim Yisakelim. But the shamas are rooted in the primus of the keli. Yes, the shamas are bound up with gvul. The shamas are uh, manifested with limited identities, and we're all different, etc. We come to guv gaf, gashmi, but it's all the it's all the primus of kriyach gvul. The primus of keli shemichaldim etzem ma'ayr, which is bound up with the etzem ma'ayr again, is the shleimus. 
of Atmos to manifest in a gvul and bli gvul. It's that kind of gvul that the neshama carries and expresses. So therefore, in Bahem, Shumak Bola Klal. So there's no limit in the external sense at all on the neshama. It's gvul is of a different kind of gvul. It's a shleim is naked gvul. And therefore, it can transform the world. Din Emalach Mugbul Makim, further elaboration, Emalach is limited in place. Kemaime, this is a, the Gemara and Chulun talking about Yaakov's ladder. And the Malach, Emir, there's a whole cheshben over there. And the Gemara declares that Malach Bishlish Oilam Oimit. that a uh, malach stands in a third of the world. So three malachim fill the whole world, the height of the whole world. It's enormous, but it's still limited. They're also bound up with time. Time and space are bound up with each other. They're not synonymous. It used to be thought they're synonymous. The time is the distance between two points. But they're not. But they're connected. They're certainly bound with each other. And that's why in the Malachim at their time, when they, uh, they say Shira, etc. We also have our time. There's Man Shachas and Zman, and Zman Tfila. But that is not a time that Malach's, Malach's time is you say it now, or you're not a Mitzvah. You're out to, late, later, it's nothing meaningless. The Yid Davin's later, no, it should be before. The, 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 and Tzadikim Davin Machlal, they didn't Davin, uh, they didn't Davin respecting the boundaries of time. It, I mean, talking to the later Tzadikim, Tamid the the most uh, famous, perhaps, the Tosh Rebbe, who, who Davin Mincha, who knows, at four o'clock in the morning, and, and things like that. Um, just by the way, I think I've shared this with you. It's a gishmaka word that I heard from 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 uh, in the name of Rabbi Yosef Gelitsky, the beloved Rosh uh, Hashiva and Oliteira, a big gone. So he writes somewhere. Someone told me they maybe even seen it. Yeah, I did see it. Yeah, I saw it in our Saturday. Bottom line. I'll be nigl, you know, how to explain this? The tzaddikim and bechlal, bechlal, it says. There's a vote. I have to find that word's written. The Talmidei Bashem Tev did away with the Zmane Tfila. This restriction of you have to do it now. Okay. Um, I don't, there is some truth to that. And the fact is that the Rebbeim and the other city groups, the Chathil, just don't daven bezman. In, in Skver, nobody davens mincha bezman. It's bedafke. It happened way after the Shkir. Nechatchila. It just won't happen before. Um, the Gerach said him today, they are sticklers for Zman, but they ne- that wasn't what it used to be. There's a big change in Ger. But the original Ger, Kotzke, Chsidis, the whole time thing was completely like didn't exist, the clock. And it's certainly true, Tzadikim, again, the Toshereb and others. So he writes like this. The Dean of Zman Tfila in Pashtus is that this is an auspicious time when the king is disposed towards, towards uh, granting requests. So you want to be there during these times of grace. Moreover, you want to come together with the community because you don't want to be under scrutiny personally. And he, of course, God is everyone, but in the schus of coming together, the real Tfila um much greater uh, 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 chance that a prayer will be answered. That's the simple meaning of prayer. I need, grant me, please, forgive me, grant me, heal me. So there are special times and you want to come together in the merit of the, of the many. That's the simple meaning of Tfilah B'tzibur. So he writes over there, this Achran, but why is it that the ministers can approach the king anytime? There's no set time for the ministers. Talking the very, the upper echelons of the ministers. And the answer is the pastors. Because when they're not coming to the king for, pers- for requests, they're coming to the king. The whole conversation is the welfare of the state. And that's welcome every, anytime and at all times. So likewise, if the davening is, I need and I want, there's certain times of divine grace, now it's chesed, now it's gvura, come with everybody together. But if the tefillah is, mitzad l'mayla, tam shokha v'likus, and the kavanda of the ebishter, uh, and for others, quite simply, for others, then there's no limit 
On the contrary, it's a big nachas that the ministers are, you know, are not sleeping. And they're there around the clock um, as much as possible engaging the king for the welfare of the king and his citizens in the state. Interesting uh, answer to this Indian. Al-Kapon, I'm just mentioning it, even in halacha, for a, for a yid, even halacha, the zman, not, not the malach, after the singing of the, 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 the knights divide into three watches, and the Gemara says in Brachas, the Kodesh, 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 when the orchestra is over, that's it. A yid can daven later, he didn't get the man tefillah, he didn't get it. Even Allah allows for it. Why? Because the Pneumius, the reason is, the Hakbola of the Yid is not the Hakbola of, of the Malach, which defines it. The Hakbola of the Yid is all the Shleimus of the Kurs. It's Pneumius Bligvul. It's Pneumius Bligvul. And therefore, there's glimmers of it even in the, the, the Hakbolas. Let's continue. Let's continue. So the Kedoshim is referring to the Neshamas. Yeah, the Neshamas are not limited, not to time and space. And that's what we see in, in Nashri Kedoshim and the Holy Ones referring to the Neshamas. We don't have the set times. It's all day. We praise you. But before that, I'm sorry, not in the Ashra, we say that in, uh, in Shemunesa. Before that, in, in, in Bichas Krishma, what do we say? Kodesh Baruch Yimloch. Those praises, Lenem Asela, doesn't say Sela means forever. They don't have the Sela. Because that's the praises of the Malachim, which we, which we echo. But it's their praise. And Shashish their share is limited. It's over, it's over. Orchestra packs its, its, uh, its, its instruments and we're back tomorrow or later. The Kadoshim Eden all day praise you, Sela, forever. That's the Shamas. It's all day, not at a specific time. Hence the Gemara says, a person should have an all day. He said, moreover, it's forever. The Gemara says, wherever the Pasuk says the words, either Netzach, Sela, or Vo'ed, it's something that's forever. No interruption. Just interesting, the other, I saw the, the to contrast this, I saw... Oh, maybe it's right here. Is it here? I'll read it to you. Uh, in the Klach Habad, and then every week they have whatever's answers, interesting answers on, on different topics. Oh, be the beginning. So, Bocher, maybe it's a Bocher, maybe it's in Yaman, writes to the Rebbe, he said that I own. Yeah. Listen to this. This is balancing what I just said now. Why? Because it has to be, it has to be the, the fusion of Gvul and Bli Gvul. It is the toy became the ticker. So he writes like this. He says that, uh, is it a Bochum? Yeah. One of the Tzmimim. He writes that after, this is a Shabbos Seder. After learning Chzidus and after being in shul with the minion davening on Shabbos, he starts to daven at 1.30. He also writes to the Rebbe, and then he, then he, then he davens be a chidus. that could be like every day after, maybe it's only Shabbos. Then he also writes, yeah, that's it, maybe every day. Then he writes, he puts on film, Every day after, before Minchaf and Nigla. And then he writes that Thursday night after Seder, Chsidis, and he, then he's learning Tanya Balper. He looks like he knew the whole Tanya Balper already. He reviews it. He goes to sleep at three o'clock. So this is the Seder of this Bacher. 
So look at the Rebbe's answers to each point. When he writes that he davens at 1.30 Shabbos afternoon, the Rebbe writes, Mavil, shocking, underlined twice. And he puts in brackets, even though I'm sure you say, Krishma, this man, this is not to say that. Start the daven with the tzibur, even if you continue for a long time afterwards. But your davening should start with the minion. When he writes that he davened, looks like during the week, uh, he writes daven with the minion. He's the matzibur. When he writes about, he puts on a bend of times. He doesn't have time, right? Because he's running to, he puts a bend of times before mincha. He never writes after shachnis. And when he writes that Thursday night, he goes to bed at three o'clock in the morning because that's after saying, learning and then reviewing Tanya Balper, that writes not later than 2 a.m. <laughs> and then that writes at the end, uh, in, in addition to all of the above, this is before Pesach, you should learn Hilchas Pesach, and in the, my modern of the Alter Rebbe on Pesach, he tells him which ones, the Kotitayra, and also from the Alter Rebbe and also from Shara Hamona. He said, Dohib and the Bocher. He got such instructions. But this is a balance a little bit what we're, we're learning here. Okay. We go a little bit further. Yes, it's only five to eight. We can continue further, yeah? Yeah? Give me a nod. Yes? All right. Be the Indian explanation of the Indian next paragraph. The Indian is barely yell. Shemalachim is have a goof and a nafshim kyacha. We learned earlier, unlike man who was created first a goof and only then a neshama, which lachayra makes him lesser than all other creatures that were created the outset living entities. We explain other rabba the mile of that. So just like angels who are created like animals, and they are spiritual animals, body and soul at once. So just like their body is to their nefesh, that means that both ways, that their nefesh is also comparable to their guf. The matter is as follows. This is further elaboration to appreciate Nishamas. To explain the union of their goof is, is relative to their nefesh. Therefore, so when the Malach sings, remember at the beginning of the Maimur that, that the Nevi'im only described the Shiras and Malach, and they don't describe the song of Neshonas. We're getting further explanation. So the Malach sings, nefesh. It's obviously the soul as in of the of the malach. As in nasi bitl gamba gufa, the body naturally goes along with the song. The instrument. The hosts of heaven all bow down to you. As explained in Tanya, I think it's from Medrash. The Kraylagal Galim is the first of the spheres, the 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 planets, the, 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 the planetary orbits, Shemisalvi that they turn from they, they they orbit from east to west. Okay, you're doing as it's known. It brings the entire This is physically indicative of their prostration, their bitl, the bowing down to the shina, the shina bemaidiv, for the shina is manifest in the west. And hence they are evolved and revolved. From east to west. That is the goof of the mala, of the angel. It's the body. It's the Rambam, the Galgalim are entities of some, some kind of higher form of life. So, but there's also the physical part of them. So they behave this way because the nefesh of the Galgalim is singing. This means that their singing from the nefesh prieles affects seamlessly. The body naturally expresses that song. The body of the galgalim. They, they, they 
revolve towards the West. We find also, this by the way was Gimel Tamas. We're going to say now, took place on Gimel Tamas. Yeshua. Uh, and uh, no. Shemesh be given doim. That he stopped the sun from setting, was out of Shabbos to complete uh, the war. The sun remained suspended in the sky. So what happened? Over there? How do you do it? It's interesting how he did this. We find by Yeshua that the stress as Yeshua was a Talmud of Moshe. Kamayim and Moshe kibbutz did a mission in Mishra of Yeshua. That that Moshe received the Torah and gave it over to Yeshua. So this is the thing of the Nasi. Shakesharot so laham b'desas shemesh. He wanted to stop the sun so he could complete the battle. And he came to the defense of the Givoinim. Omar, he says, Shemesh, we're giving them the sun in given should be silent. Silent? Stop. Shlai Omar, Amoy, he didn't say the sun should stop its, its traverse. El Omar, he said, silent. It says the Gemara, I think it's a Gemara. Rashi brings it, but maybe from the Medish. Doim, Eloi, Marshira. He's telling the sun to be silent from its song, the nefesh of the sun, as it were, the maloch, and that caused it from stopping. He stopped its spiritual journey, the physical journey, without having to command it, naturally stopped. That's not true of us. A nefesh can be in one place, and a goof in another place. Because the sun's movement is because of the song of the Malach, the, the, the angelic sun angel, as it were, Shapel Gamalagufa Malach, which affects the body of the Malach. The, so it's the, there's three things here there's the Shira, of, the, the Nefesh of the Malach, the Guf of the Malach, and the physical sun. So he's talking to the, to the Nefesh of the Malach, it affects the Guf. And that then translates the physical sun moving. So that's the third level here. The physical sun, but it's the physical goof of the Malach and the Nevesh of the Malach. But he addresses the source because they're all integrated. And when the sun stops saying Shira, the, the, the Malach stops saying Shira, as in therefore automatically the sun the sun uh, stops going. Conclusion, because they're moving, she gufa malach, ha-berech ha-nafshi, the body of the malach is be'erech, is in sync, and one with, it's created at once, and it's comparable to the nefesh. K'moyki, and likewise, from the other perspective, she nefesh ha-malach, ha-berech ha-gufa, that the nefesh is limited, like the guf, the shem shaguf and mobile like the guf is limited, kach ha-nefesh ha-mal besel, to the nefesh of the malach is limited. We said before, it's, there's a time to sing, and after that, not entertained, not possible, no place. Even though the song comes from the nefesh, so the nefesh, nefesh is an eternal entity, is it not? Because mokim, no, not by the malach. Yes, it's in, inherently limited. Or to contrast, concluding Mashiach and the that the show must have no limitation at all. And it's this neshama that it has no limit in essence. That it becomes enclosed in a physical body, the sacrament, to fix it and to elevate it through Torah. This carries out the divine intent. As we said before, the end of his base, in the example of a building, building stuff like if you want to raise a building, you don't pull it from the top because you just tear the top off and the, and the rest will remain grounded. So, last is so, so how was it done? You lift from the bottom. So, this is, this is the word lever, commercial of the lever. You place it below and then you lift it. You want it to go up, so why are you going down here? Because that's how you lift from below. Last is Mishkan This is how the world becomes a Mishkan. 
a for Hashem, the fish and all, the loss the same from the beginning is wedged in the end, and the end is wedged in the beginning. The Tachlis Sakavona, the Primi Sakavona is Dafke here, and the Shamas are rooted in Primi Sakavona, therefore they are able to elevate the lowest state and come to Guf Gashem.